All right, everyone, we have a new little friend in the solar system. It turns out that Uranus, or Uranus, it's funny regardless of how you pronounce it, it's either urine, us, or your anus. I find that fascinating. It has a 29th moon. It has not yet been named. It looks like a small moon, and they had uh, believed that it existed for some time, but they couldn't really prove it. Now it looks like they've uh, they've definitely proven that indeed it does actually have a 29th moon. Interestingly, they usually uh, name uh, the uh, moons around Uranus or Uranus. He he he. Yeah, I'm going to keep making that reference until I die. Um, it looks like they're going to name it uh, as traditionally after a Shakespeare character. Uh, that's what they've done with uh, many of the others. So that's basically how they've decided to name the moons. I like to think that scientists have a little bit of a romantic notion of the world, too, and aren't just like, you know, lab monkeys. But uh, it is funny. It's a link in the description archived, of course. We do have a new addition to the family. I uh, didn't know that I had that many moons. It's quite impressive. Also, Uranus is a weird planet because it rotates in the opposite direction from the other planets, um, and, and uh, is just a strange uh, place. It's also got rings around it, but they're very small, so you can't really see them unless you have a really high-powered telescope. Personally, I'm more of a Neptune fan myself. Neptune is my favorite planet, just saying. Uh, that's mainly because of its color. I thought it looked cool as a kid. Uh, has its own mini spot, just like Jupiter has. But, uh, yeah, Uranus is uh, is now joined. Well, I mean, it's probably been there for the last few billion years or something like that. But uh, is is joined officially by a new moon. This is fascinating. The Webb Telescope has made leaps and bounds uh, over you know the the telescopes that we were using in in even the most advanced countries, even as recently as the '90s, are nowhere near as sophisticated as the ones that are used now. Technology has grown exponentially, especially since the rise of the internet, because it made it easier for scientists to communicate with each other and uh, check each other's notes and stuff like that from country to country and from place to place much more easily. And so it sped up the rate at which data could be transferred <clears throat> from place to place. Their calculations are made quicker now. Uh, you look at some of the, the scientific equipment that was being used when we made the moonshot. Uh, old tube-based computers and stuff like that that take up, you know, entire rooms. Whereas now, that same processing power can be done with a smartphone. Uh, it's become a little bit more compact, and telescopes have definitely gotten a lot better, too. Uh, this relatively small moon wouldn't have been visible, for example, you know, 30 years ago. Uh, it wouldn't. They wouldn't have any idea. In fact, I think in that span of time, I think several of the other moons there had been discovered uh, with the older model telescopes, if I remember correctly. There's someone should compile a moon timeline, like when was uh, each moon in the solar system actually found? By the way, this uh, rapid advance in technology, and we've got re-entered rockets like SpaceX and stuff like that, you've all got all sorts of stuff, cool rovers and things. I think that it's only a matter of time before our detection equipment is capable of quantifying that somewhere out there in this general region of space, uh, there may be some sort of life, some sort of intelligent life. I think that it's much more uh, profuse than a lot of people would admit to. A lot of people say, well, yeah, maybe there's other life in the universe. Yeah, over the course of, you know, quadrillions of galaxies, each containing trillions of potential uh, places that life could spawn, mathematically speaking, I have a feeling that it's out there. I think it's more common than a lot of people would admit to, even if they admit to its existence. So it'll be interesting, as they make telescopes ever more advanced, uh, which they are, because each generation gets better and better, clearer focuses and stuff like that. We're probably going to find other little moons uh, dancing around some of the planets. Maybe Neptune has an extra moon. We never know. Uh, not until we look and scan it real hard. Because sometimes they're whirling around the planet and, you know, you can't even see them. If they're behind the planet at the time that you take a nice picture, well, you don't know that the, the moon is actually there. So I'm excited about this. Sometimes I like a little bit of science news, and any time that I get to say Uranus or your anus, of course, I'll take the opportunity. <laughs> That's about all. Peace out.